Uh, welcome to Farrington Nature Links, 11 o'clock, live nature at home, nature outside exclusive. Uh, happy Monday to all of you out there. Uh, my name is Meg, and I'm the program manager at Farrington Nature Link. Uh, Farrington is a nonprofit with the mission of just getting kids outside. We are looking to enhance the lives of children from low income families through a connection with the natural world. And today we're going to do that by exploring some nature sounds uh, through nature music and uh, check out uh, a little bit of of the bike path here in Saugus, Massachusetts. Um, so I thought we would start just a little bit sort of grounding ourselves, taking, taking a moment to, to use our senses and uh, feel and see and hear uh, what it's like outside today. Um, so right now, uh, it's, not, it's not super sunny, it's a little overcast here outside. Uh, but it's not raining, so I'm happy about that. Um, it's probably 40s, low 40s-ish outside, not too windy. Um, and I can, I can hear some birds in the background. Um, right now, I don't hear a lot of cars, and there aren't that many people out and about. So it's a pretty nice day here. Ooh, can you hear that? Maybe not. I can hear them. I wonder what the birds are saying. Ooh, that reminds me. Did you hear something? Oh, hello. Oh, it's Ori. Ori, how you doing? Oh, oh, great. I heard you're going to talk about bird sounds and music. Uh, that's right, Ori. Uh, how, how, was the, uh, how was the flight over from, uh, from the house in Saugus? Oh, it was just too... Two clicks of a of an arrow. I don't know that saying, but uh, glad you made it, Ori. No problem. Uh, we'll check in with you later, Ori. Um, so, what are some sounds and things that you might hear when you're walking around? Maybe we can take a little tour of the space here and uh, and see if we can hear or even make some some noise. Um, do you guys know what rhythm is? You, have you talked about what beats are maybe? I wonder if we can find some natural objects that we can make some noise with. Let's go explore, shall we? Come on. <laughs> Ooh, I found something. Check this out. You know what this is? Not a donut. Now nah, I'm not going to eat it. It's a really nice rock. It's pretty smooth, kind of cold. I wonder what noise it would make if we tried just knocking on it. Not a lot of noise. I have an idea. What if we bring in Ori? Ori! Hello! Can you try pecking on this rock? A pretty quiet noise. I think we need something bigger. Thank you, Ori. You're welcome. <coughs> what if? I know. Another rock. Ooh, that makes a cool noise. Perhaps if you were out walking with adult supervision or maybe a sibling and you can find a rock, maybe two. Try banging them together fast, like an otter breaking a clam open, or maybe slow, or maybe you can rub them together. Cool. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, I found something. Check this out. Dun, da, da, da. It's a stick. Very good. I wonder if I shake it. Doesn't really make noise if I knock on it. Not that much noise. 
Whoa, check out this log over here. I wonder if we can make some beats with this stick and this log. Let's try knocking on it. I like that. I like that. What if we try rubbing it across the bark? You hear that? This bark is pretty rough. And so as we drag the stick across it, it makes a pretty cool noise. Ooh, I do like that. I wonder, come over here. I wanna check out what noise it makes if we knock the stick over on the hollow part. I wonder, can you hear this? And then we knock it over here. And then we knock it over here. Whoa, it makes different noises based on where we hit it on this tree. Should we hit other people though? Nope, don't hit people, especially not with sticks or rocks. Don't hit other people. What else? Oh, whoa, I see something cool. Check this out. Do you know what these are? They're the top of something. You might think it's a tiny hat, but it's not. It's the top of an acorn. I wonder if there's a way we can make noise with these acorn tops. What do you think? Well, we can like knock on them. That doesn't make much noise. It doesn't really, you know what? There is a way that you could whistle with an acorn top. Let's try it out. I think I have a, a single acorn. Aha. All right, do you see how the, the acorn isn't in there anymore? It's just the little top part of the acorn. So the, the nut part fell out. Maybe a, maybe a squirrel or a bird might have taken the acorn and eaten it. All right, let's try and make a whistle out of an acorn top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking my two thumbs and I'm covering most of the top of the acorn. I'm sort of making a little V and I'm gonna try and blow within that V and see if we can see if we can make some noise. It's a, it works about 20% of the time so far. So let's see. Wait, wait. Let's keep trying. Well, maybe I need some practice. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I see some other things that might make some cool sounds. Come with me. Let's go. I can hear some birds. I can hear somebody hammering, maybe doing some construction. Let's see. Uh, let's check these out. Can you see these? Do you know what these are? These are really tall grasses that are growing in sort of this marshy area. This marsh land is, uh, it's part salt water and part fresh water. We're pretty close to the ocean here. Uh, well, you can't see the ocean from here per se, but we're, we're just a couple miles away from the ocean. Um, and that's why the, the water is a little bit salty and, but also mixed with fresh water. Anyway, I want to talk about these cool reeds here, these cool grasses. Uh, on a windy day, you might hear a little bit of noise coming from the reeds as they move and sway. When I was here over the weekend, there were two reeds and they were crisscrossing like this and they were making this sort of almost like a violin sound. It was making like a squeaking noise. It was really interesting, but you had to listen really carefully for it. Oh, I see something else that makes noise. Can I show you? Yeah, okay, cool. Check it down here. 
Can you hear this? The rustling of dead leaves. I love it. You can even pick them up and crumple them. Oh, do you ever go for a hike even in the fall and you crunch the leaves underneath? Oh, I see something else cool that might make some cool noise. Do you see anything? What does it look like? Just dirt? Just rocks? Oh, actually, maybe over there might be a little bit better. I'm trying to rub my feet in the dirt and maybe on some of this gravel to make a scratchy noise. Oh, my shoes look great on camera, don't they? Look at those laces. Shout out to 510. What do you hear at your house? I can hear a bird not too far away. And I can hear the wind blowing. And I can hear a motorcycle. <laughs> do you wanna play a game? All right, come on over. I have a game. If you have comments or questions, feel free to leave us a comment or question on the on the request line on the Facebook comment section. Hey Meg, we've got a yeah. question for you. Oh yes, I'm here to answer questions. Um what are some of your favorite sounds to hear in nature, even if you can't hear them right now? Ooh, that is a great question. Some of my favorite sounds, I really like wind rustling leaves on a tree, especially in early spring. I really like the sound of water rushing uh, over rocks like a stream or ocean waves. I find very soothing. Um, what else do I like? Oh, I think there's cicadas in the summer. You can hear this really high pitched um, like insect noise. Um, and it usually it it's only happens like in the summer when it's like really hot out. Um, and I enjoy that. Did you know that there are some animals that they're named after the sound they make? I know. Cool, right? Uh, one example, uh, have you ever heard of a Katie did? So there are these bugs that make noise and they go, Katie did, Katie didn't, Katie did, Katie didn't. Pretty cool. There are also some birds that make songs that they're named after, like the whippoorwill. One of the songs that the whippoorwill makes, it goes whippoorwill, whippoorwill. They're not calling someone named Will, it's just the noise that they make. Um, and ooh, do you know what the state bird of Massachusetts is? If you've watched some other videos, you might know. He has a black cap. He's kind of small. It's is it a black a, cap. <laughs> hey Meg, is, it? is it a chicka chicka? Yes. Me? Yes. It's not chicka a chicken. Me? Not a chicka me, it's a chickadee. They uh they make their song goes chickadee, chickadee, dee 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 dee, chickadee. Sometimes you can hear them. I don't hear any right now. There are some birds far away, but they're not chickadees. They look like can you see them on the telephone wire over there? It's really hard to see. They're like very small gray dots <laughs> on a tiny little phone wire. But they sound like maybe morning doves. Okay, game. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, come on over. Maybe Ori can help us for this next section too. I'm going to get out. Going to get out some rocks. 
I found these two rocks. And you can use sticks. You can use a log and a stick, a rock and a stick. But remember, we were talking a little bit about rhythm and uh, patterns of sound. And so you might um, think of like a horse clomping around like a different animals. So like a horse is like, kum, 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 kum. or you might think of what's another animal, a bunny, a bunny would be very soft. You can't even hear a bunny. It's like, yeah, you can't even hear it. It's so quiet. Or you might think of ooh, a mouse skittering by with tiny little feet running by. Or you might think of an elephant with big, clomping steps like that. There are also songs that have rhythms to them as well. So if we think of a song like row, row, row your boat, right? You can hear the rhythm. Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Okay, I got a challenge for you. I'm gonna make a beat. I'm gonna make a rhythm. See if you can guess the song. Are you ready? Might be tricky. All right, let's try. What do you think? What song could that be? It's not Row, Row, Row Your Boat. You already did that one. I know it's really hard when it's just the beat, right? I guess. Okay, I'll give you, yeah, you can guess. I think it's happy birthday. Whoa, whoa, Sarah, you're so good at this game. It is happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. You got it. Happy birthday to you. All right, do you want a really tricky one? Sure you do. Okay. Um, let me think of a tricky song. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, not everyone will know this one, but that's okay. What do you think? Not happy birthday, not row, row your boat. It is about a food. I'll give you that hint. What if I hum it for you? Maybe that'll help. Let's try. No? No guesses? This is a really tricky one. I'm trying to trick you. Do you know the song, I Am A Pizza? No? It's a really good song, okay. I am a pizza with extra cheese from tomatoes, sauce and squeeze. Oh, I am a pizza. Take me home, please. Ta-da! Great. Any other questions or things you'd like to know? One other thing I was trying to play around with when I was outside before is I had a bunch of sticks of different sizes and I had some different rocks. And I was trying to see if there were different ways, different tones that I could make with the sticks. Um, where? Grab some of my other rocks over here. Have you ever seen a xylophone or a glockenspiel before? Xylophones usually have these hollow tubes on them and you can hit them and they'll make different noises. Might be hard to hear, but some of the skinnier sticks and some of the longer sticks make a little bit different noise. So you might play around with that as you walk around outside and try hitting and seeing if you can 
make this stick make a, a long, low noise, or a really sort of fast, short noise. Sometimes the type of stick makes a difference. So these sticks, you can see, they're not hollow inside, but they're definitely dead. These ones, these sticks, the bark has fallen off of them and they feel really smooth. And some of these sticks, this one is a, a newer stick. You can see there's still a lot of material in there and the bark is still really stuck on there. So this, this came from a tree that we cut down uh, this year, I think. So not too long ago. Um, and we cut it down because it part of it had died and had fallen on the house. It wasn't safe. So we wanted, we don't, don't, don't just go cutting down trees. I wonder if my friend Ori might have a song that he wants to share. Ori, Ori, where are you? Here you are. Hello, Ori. Oh, hello. I want to sing a song. Ori wants to sing a song. Uh, great. Okay. Oh, wow. That was quite the song. I wonder if there's another song that maybe we can sing together. What about the hammer song? The hammer song, the hammer song. Let me think, let me think. Okay, uh, yes, I know the hammer song. It's gonna require, I think, all of my hands. I think so. Yep, that's right. You gotta do more than one thing at once. Okay, Ori, I'll give it a shot. So if you've ever tried to be in a band by yourself, it's pretty tricky because you only have two hands, right? So if you, oh gosh, I don't know if you can see this. There are these little black birds in the, in the tree right now. That one sounds like a crow. And then there's some over in the water. There's, there are a couple of them. They're chirping, they're making some noise. Anyway, nature's funny like that. You can never predict who's gonna come visit and what noises they're gonna make. Um, when I'm sitting really quietly out in nature and I'm not making any noise, I tend to hear and see a lot more little chipmunks and squirrels running by. Um, I hear more birds uh, when I'm really quiet. Why do you think that is? Yeah, I think it's because if we're making a lot of noise, the animals probably, they don't wanna go near where there's a lot of human noise, a lot of cars or dogs barking or Meg's singing, you know, that kind of thing. But I think if they hear that it's really quiet in a space, they're more likely to go over to a tree or a log where it's nice and quiet over by the water. It looks really nice. Ooh, that song. Okay, so if you're ever trying to be in a band by yourself, pretty tricky because you have to do two things at once. I wonder if we can do it. Oh, the hammer song. That's right, Ori. Okay, so um, we'll use Ori. Sometimes you might have heard this song with like someone named Jonah or John, I think. Uh, but we'll use the name Ori for this. And so it's going to go like this. Ori works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Ori works with one hammer, then he works with two. That's right. Ori works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Ori works with two hammers, then he works with three. I only have two hands. I gotta use my foot. Ori works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Ori works with three hammers, then he works with four. That seems tricky. Okay, all right, I can do it, I can do it. <gasps> Ori works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Ori works with four hammers, then he works with five. Wait, five? I'm out of hands. <laughs> 
and I'm out of feet. I'll use my head. I got it. Or it breaks with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Or it breaks with five hammers, and it goes to sleep. Very silly. So if you're trying to play a band and you're trying to, you know, bang a log and bang a, a stone at the same time, it's going to be pretty tricky. Can you hear that? It's like a natural drum set. But if I try to do three at once, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I only have two hands. So you might have to get a, a sibling or a friend or maybe mom and dad. Haley, if you're watching, maybe try and get your sister Ellie to join you or mom uh, to join your band. Because being a band of one is very difficult. But if you have a friend, you can help. You can help make more noises. Oh, this log makes a great echoey sound. I bet this log is pretty, pretty hollow inside. Sounds pretty dead. I like that. Ooh, and you can scrape across the bark. That makes a cool noise. It makes me think of like a, a dinosaur or some kind of big animal walking. Bomp, bomp, bomp. And then if it's like a really fast little doo -doo 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 -doo, it makes you think of like little mice hopping around. Ooh, this is some good gravel over here that would make a good noise, I think. I don't know if you can hear any of this. And sometimes I've seen people, they'll take natural materials and they'll turn them into their own instruments too. Um, what are some things you think you could put inside maybe like one of those little plastic eggs from Easter or inside a hollow toilet paper tube that you tape on both ends? What's something that you can find outside that you can put in and shake it and it would make a cool noise? What do you think? Grass? Probably not. Probably something smaller, kind of hard. Maybe rice, maybe seeds, maybe tiny little rocks. Dun, da, da, da. Maybe if you could put a whole pickle inside and you try and, sh you know what? I don't think the pickle's going to work. We'll go to comments. Comments, questions about things in nature, noises you can make, things you can do. I really wish you could hear the birds. There's so many birds out. Speaking of birds, here's a game we can play. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. I have some pictures of birds that you might be able to find uh, around here in Massachusetts. Oop, what's this one called, do you know? It's a Canadian goose. You ever see these geese flying around? You know what noise they make? They like to make this awesome honk noise. Honk honk. Okay, okay, all right. Here's a here's another one. Here's another one. Ooh, what's this bird? Flamingo? Nope. Guess again. It's a mallard duck. And this looks like a male. This looks like a boy duck. You can tell because of the super colored, the green feathers on him. Usually the male birds are the ones that are more colorful. You ever see a duck around? What's a duck say? Something like that. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, oh I don't know. I have definitely seen these around. This one is pretty colorful though. Do you know what that one is? It's a turkey. I've definitely seen wild turkeys lurking around. 
around Chisaugus here. And actually around Somerville and Cambridge too. They're really big. Sometimes they'll go in front of cars in the, in the street. I have to tell them to move out of the way. They don't listen though. I'm not sure they speak English. They probably just speak Turkey. What's another, what's another? Other ones, other ones. Ooh, do you know what this one is? It's an owl, yep. So this is a great horned owl. And these ones, usually they make like a hoo, 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 a hooching noise. It's really hard to see these ones because they often camouflage. Yeah. Do you know what camouflage means? It means hiding in plain sight. And you can see how the feathers of this bird, they sort of match the colors that might be dried sticks and leaves and things like that that you might find up in a tree. So it'd be really hard for a predator or another animal to see where the owl was. Do you know what owls tend to eat? Not pickles. They like little rodents, mice, rats, things like that. All right, all right, let's see. Let's see. I'll get another bird for ya. Ooh, how about this one? Okay. Here we are. This one likes to make noise with its beak on trees. You might hear it pecking. It's, it's a woodpecker. It's a downy woodpecker. Boop, boop, boop. And do you know what it's doing when it's pecking into the tree? It's not trying to hurt the tree. It's trying to get something inside the tree. There are little grubs, little bugs that live inside the tree. It's peck, 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 peck. It's trying to get inside. Well, that's a little bit about birds around Massachusetts and a little bit about music and noises out in nature. I hope you had a good time and that there are lots of different ways that you can make noise and music when you're outside, whether it's banging some rocks together, finding some gravel to smush your feet in, or just listening for natural sounds like bird calls and the sound of the trees in the wind. Uh, well, that's all we have time for now. Uh, tune in at two o'clock. Uh, we'll be meeting another furry friend of mine. Um, and we'll be doing these uh, every day, 11 o'clock and two o'clock. Um, if you have questions or concerns, feel free to reach out in the comments section. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for joining us here at Farrington. Uh, hope you have a good day and uh, stay safe. Try and get outside if you can and enjoy some nature. All right, bye.